Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be finishing up a cut that I did on a Facebook Live earlier for Behind the Chair and Babeless Pro. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys where I left off last and then we're gonna finish this cut on here for you guys. This is where we left off last. We did a taper tutorial for the back. Um, I haven't even gotten this far. We only covered about this much in the live. So that's kind of where we're at right now. And we're gonna finish that rest of the cut today. And I'm gonna take you through the process of what I will be doing as well. We're gonna start with debulking the hair first, and then we're gonna move into the sideburn and blend it right up into this area here. We were talking all about the custom effects clipper. Uh, that, will, that will be what I'm gonna use today. These two right here, one with the fade blade and one with the taper blade right here on the back. And we're gonna be using the gold, which has the standard blade on here. If you guys look back to my previous video, I talk about the different types of blade that actually comes with all these trimmers. Uh, if you guys wanna check that out in detail, I have all the model numbers so that you guys can order the replacement blades if you are looking to uh, replace this with another one that you like better. Foil shavers, I'm gonna be going over why the single foil is super helpful while using a double foil shaver as well. This is a question I've been getting a lot, so I'm excited to finally put this to the test so you guys can see why this can be necessary and really help get you a really nice seamless blend. Really important when I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do on somebody's hair and how high I need to take it is that I always try to feel the scalp and find out where the curves are so that way I don't go too high and then you start to indent inwards. Um, you gotta watch out for that, especially when you're doing cuts that are typically a little bit more on the square side, you gotta know exactly where the dips are. So as I'm feeling through this, this is gonna be my highest point here because after here, you don't want the haircut to round in and wanna keep it as squared as possible. So this is where I'm going to flare out completely to make sure I keep it nice and boxy. Um, we are actually going to refresh the color as well, but we're gonna do that in a different time. But for now, we are going to do and shorten the cut. Just wrapped up the side we stopped at that ledge up top and we'll blend more of that once we lay the top down but now you guys can see the transition going into the back and right here there's a curve so that's why it looks a little slanted here but I'm gonna re-edge this up so that when we're looking at it straight it's gonna be a straight line so you got to watch out for any of the indents and try to straighten it out as much as you can Soft edge up here, you guys can see where the regrowth was. All I did was try to redefine an area that already exists without taking this area too far back behind that line because you always gotta think about that regrowth space. So you can see from here to here is about that it. And then you, from here to here, you can see the, the regrowth. And then I started here and just kind of met that edge. So you get a nice little C scoop there. And then when you're edging around the ears, just be super careful because that is a super tender spot. I usually work from one side of the ear and then I meet it on the other side. And sometimes what helps me get this part right here at the top, because that's a really critical part, because you don't want to take it too far that it goes into the haircut. So what I do is right at the top of the ear, you just kind of press back slightly 
and that'll allow for that little C scoop space in the front for you to get right there. It's so just like this, just like that. And you see that little C scoop. This is the double foil here, and this is the trimmer line here. So this trimmer line has gotten the stubble for the most part. And we're blending and we're blending this up to where the clipper started. The trimmer basically acts as a way to connect the skin line into the rest of the hair. So there is still a little bit of stubble and for sure when you zoom out, everything looks pretty blended, but if you wanted to take it in a little tighter, this is kind of where I like to use a single foil because it's so much smaller than the double foil, so this is a lighter weight. So when I'm using this to bald out any areas, it's almost just like a lighter skin line. So just right here, I don't know if you guys can see that little detail that I could do. It's basically just like a tap, just to like barely graze over that, and this is gonna really connect the entire taper right here. So now when you see it, it really helps connect it even more. And then whatever else you feel like it needs, all you gotta do is pretty much dab over it and scale it down. So what I do now is I'm gonna go around the entire parietal ridge and I wanna soften everything up. These are what I'll be using, texturizing shears. This is the SCORM edition. Shout out to the family over there in the in Rotterdam for these. Thank you, Mizutani. And I'm gonna work through all of this area. We already cut the top, we cut the bottom when we started, and now we're connecting everything in the middle. trippy on Instagram but basically let me see basically it shoots mist out of here and you there you guys can see it and this is also a really great way to also apply some moisture to where you're about to do a straight edge but not completely soak them with liquid of course you can use shaving gel as well but this is for this is what I use just for like the super easy lineups right around the edges. I'll use this first, let it mist a little bit, just to moisturize, just to add a little bit of moisture to those areas. And then I follow through with the razor. Same with around the ears, this is also really helpful. I like it because it's super light, it's nothing too heavy and I can see my edges. Kind of see the difference that razor line makes. This 
Same thing for the back. I'm gonna use the single foil shaper to go right again in between the double foil down here and that trimmer line. Sometimes I move in circular motion just along those areas. And I can actually hear it cut. And once I hear where it cuts, that's usually the spot I stay at. I don't try to move above that area. Corner at a time and I'm gonna cross cut some hairs, really holding it on a tilt, just so I don't create new guidelines. And this is a really great way to dive into any kind of indents in the head or different densities of hair that you get, that you come across. Now you do a final check. Look at everything, try to look for any spots. And this is why taking pictures is a really important thing, is that it trains you to look for those, those dark spots in real time. Final request is the eyebrow flash. Let's see. Usually I try to connect it into the hair a little bit. So usually I try to find where that arch is and then connect it up. Tilt this way. This eye, right? Yeah. Okay. outside and we're just trying to take a couple outside shots just to get an get a nice cool like daylight color of the cut and one of the things that I really try to help my clients uh, do when we take pictures because sometimes it's really hard when they don't know like how to like hold their face so I always try to do the squinting one where it's like this like regular squint just to get a little bit of like uh, you know emotion in their eyes so that is something we're actually practicing right now and it's actually a lot more difficult than most people think because it's not the easiest to do on call so we're actually doing that right now as you can see practicing right now practicing. he's using the mirror uh, camera on my phone right now to kind of just see yourself doing it and it actually adds a lot more to the photo because I have taken photos before where it's just like a straight shot, kind of emotionless, but adding a little bit of that little, that little eyebrow kind of really, really helps. You ready yet? All right, we're gonna give this another chance. All right, try again. Ready and go. Okay, so we just wrapped this up and uh, I'll share some of the pics that we just took right now so you guys can see it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and share this with anybody that needed those, ex that needed those extra tips. I appreciate you guys and I'll see you next time.